you hold my cool style while I keep the funk with my mom. The incredible, lyrical, and original. You hold my cool style while I keep the funk with my mom. The, the, the incredible. You hold my cool style while I keep the funk with my mom. The, the, the incredible. You hold my cool style while I keep the funk with my mom. The incredible, lyrical, and original. Okay. I want to give uh, honor and glory to Yahweh, Ha, Yah, and um, today we're doing a little um, John about. We grabbed a couple of points here. Yeah, so have a look. So we're going to talk about the Wellington protest, White Tony protest, keeping our children safe from the, the NIFA, controlling the fear of the multitudes. So controlling your fear of the multitudes. So yeah, that's what we got for today. So yeah, all praise to the most high. We're just gonna um, get it straight out the spirit. But um, there was one I wanted to get. I forgot. So hopefully you can hear me. <clears throat> Let's get it. Um, so, what everybody's doing in uh, Wellington, you know, it's um, they're showing the power of the people who are getting together and showing the government that you can do this thing, the protest, and um, it's your fellow's way of uh, fighting against the uh, mandate. And, um, you know, today in the modern terms, they'll be okay, but according to the Kawa, you know, we are the, we are here to, um, teach the Kawa. And the most I told us, speak unto the children of Ikaroa, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So we're just going to tell you no matter what, what you must hear. So, um, yeah, how much fuck fuck to you fellas uh, for um, going out there and fighting the great battle against the terrible government that um, tries to enforce laws that we don't agree on. So, um, we know that uh, we have to set this shit straight and uh, before any battle, we got to be prepared, okay? So, um... The breaking grab us, Exodus 23 verse 2. Exodus 23 verse 2. Mm. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22, 3 verse 2. Into the camera. Mm. They shall not follow a multitude to do evil. Thou. Thou. So thou shalt not follow. A multitude to do evil so when a multitude or a government is making us to do evil things like uh, forcing us to do something we don't want to do just don't do it just don't do it you know just don't do it read it again thou shalt not follow, uh, follow a multitude to do evil so we don't want to be following a multitude to do evil so when you don't like things that are evil, just don't do it. We don't need to go out there and march and all this and all that. Mm. This is directed to everybody. Um, when you don't like things, just don't do it. Don't need to complain because this world doesn't love you. You should know this. Okay, it's not built for us. Oh, can you read that one more time, brother? Thou shall not follow a multitude to do evil. Mm. 
Can you get the book of Proverbs, verse 4, uh, chapter 4, verse 5? So don't be following a multitude to do evil, and that's a commandment, that's co-op. So whatever people do evil, just don't follow. Read the book of Proverbs, God. This is book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 5. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Read it one more time. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. So, that's what we have got to understand is we need to get wisdom first, you know. We don't want to be following the multitude to do evil. And we need to get our wisdom up to understand what is evil and how do we fight against the evil. Mm. But first and foremost, keep your wisdom up. So, um, like to the Waitangi um, Māori, the ones doing their thing, and you know, you're asking for our help, ask, you're asking for the men and women to come and help and support, but we don't know what we're doing. See, with me and my team, we're getting our weapons prepared. We're getting our arms ready. We're getting our um, precepts ready by knowing the precepts in the koa through the Bible, through the acts of all the whakaputanga. And we want every single person to know this before they go to battle. So can we get Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiasticus um, 21 verse 11? Because mm. it's all about wisdom. So we got to get wisdom. Mm. The most highest wisdom is actually the highest wisdom. But you don't know my God, you know, so don't, when you think of my God and me bringing out the Bible, don't think of any other religions or anything you've heard before. This is my God and my Bible. I'll, I'll tell you how it is that you've never heard before. Ecclesiasticus. No. 21 verse 11. to the camera this is the book of Ecclesiasticus verse 21 oh, chapter 21 verse 11 he that kept the law of the law getteth the understanding thereof so because I've been keeping the color uh, can you read it one more time he that kept the law of the Lord getteth the understanding thereof so because I've been keeping the law of the Most High, and I know the Most High, and um, I've got the understanding of what's going on in this world, in this wicked ass world, and the plans and all this and all that. So, the, the understanding is that they're doing evil, and we got to not follow. Mm. And we need to get our wisdom up before we go to battle. So, can you get through the one of me 16 verse 18? Read the one of me. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16, verse 18. Yep. Judges and officers. Shall. Officers. Thou, uh, judges and officers. Shall thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God given thee throughout thy tribes. So in every one of our tribes, we need to start creating judges and officers. And this is what Team Kaitanifa have been doing. We ain't going to tell you how it is, but we got to tell you how it is. So first and foremost, you just need to create officers who know how to do the precepts. Off by the mind, they got to know what the king is up to. The king doesn't keep things secret. The king tells everybody the secrets. The only one, the only one who keeps secrets, secret is the Most High Power. But all of us, we share all the secrets with each other. So this is what we got to do first and foremost as hapu, as tribes, as links, as gangs, all this and all that. This is what you got to have first. Read. And they no, no. eighteen again. Judges and officers, shall thou make? Thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God given thee throughout thy tribes. So judges and officers is the first and foremost thing you must make. And you've got to learn precepts. Precepts with the sword, meaning with the word. 
Every officer should know this. These are asking for security guards. Those are officers. These officers are going to be skilled with the word. So go home, learn, get your wisdom up, gather yourselves together. Can we go to Proverbs 8 verse 4? This is the book of Proverbs chapter 8 verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. So unto you, O men, I call. And my voice is to the sons of men. So this is what I'm talking to, to you men. So you men, you need to get your wisdom up. You need to get to learn how to do the precepts through the scriptures of the Bible. All you haters, don't hate because your children and their children are going to be doing what we do. What we're teaching right now is the way and the only way. Mm. You know, like Christ says, He says, There's no other way but through me. And that's what I'm saying today. There's no other way but through me. But it's not through me, it's through the way of the Most High. Ha. Mm. I'm, just, um, I'm just a voice. So, you know, we're going to war without any weapons. You know, but that was a good practice. It's a good practice for um, the next time and the next time we will need it and we will show you how it's done and hopefully by then all your officers and judges will be established um, if you need training we can train you in three months I'll have these masters at the field yeah so it's not going to take years this is this is a three month lesson this is a three month class that will make you sharp with the sword okay um, so the next one is faith um, you know your followers uh, faith is uh, is weak you know you lose faith that's what it's called lose faith mm. yeah, a lot of people are losing their faith and start getting fear and the fear creates uh, it's the fear of the multitudes you know he's sick scared for his life I start getting fearful because the COVID's around oh shit because the um these thing is around you know okay I I don't I don't want to feel the fear mm. and I don't want you to feel the fear because it ruins your day and it ruins your um your vibration mm. you don't want to um get, let that fear become your way to work okay so we'll go to Matthew 17 verse 20. Matthew 17 20. <clears throat> Shit. Hopefully, you could hear, hear our um, conversations. <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith, as a grain of mustard seed like a grain of mustard seed a, a mustard seed can grow in a rock and that's how they used to split rocks back in the old days is by uh, mustard seeds read ye shall say to the camera ye shall say unto unto this mountain remove hence to oh, yonder no, that's it. Huh? Read it from the stop. Oh, uh, oh, you don't have right from there. Oh. If ye have no, faith, no, 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 because. Oh, yeah. because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to your yonder place, and it shall move, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. Yeah. And Jesus said unto them, no, really, just, just, oh, really. just a read little. Right. Because of your unbelief, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, verily I say unto you. If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, have good strong faith. Ye shall say unto this mountain, you'll be able to conquer mountains. Remove hence to yonder place. Get out of my way. 
That's and it. it shall remove. That's how it is. And See? nothing shall be impossible unto you. Yeah. See, so he's got to have your faith strong as a mustard seed. You know? Have it strong. And then these fair things, these fair tactics they put on you, really even affect you. You just ignore it all. Go not in the way of a multitude to do evil. You know? So you got to have strong faith. That's the key. So can we go to Luke 22 verse 32? Yeah. Twenty-two, thirty-two. This is the book of Luke, chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-two. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail, oh, fail not, and when thou art. Oh, but I have prayed for thee that thou. That thy faith fail not. So I pray to you that your faith fail not. And when thou, thou art co uh, converted, strengthen thy brethren. Strengthen your brethren. Strengthen. Uh, when you become converted, strengthen your brethren. Can you read it again? But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, Strengthen thy brethren. So that's what I'm here to do is to strengthen thy brethren. Because my faith is strong, it's the strongest. I believe in the most high. That's the most high's name. In the paleo scripts. Yah, ha, wa, ha. The Creator, La Hawa. This is actually his name, right? Here. And if you get, um, if you've had visions of the Most High, this is he'll talk like that. These two. That's Hawa. That's the most high power. He's always been with me. So yeah, that's his name. Yahawa. The creator. Hawa means the everlasting life. And it is it is what it is. It is life. It means the create the creator. The everlasting life, the life source. Yeah, pretty much. So I have faith in the Creator and my faith is super strong because I'm, not, I'm actually a Noah, I'm not a believer. And we'll go to 1 Timothy 1 verse 19. One nineteen. This is the book of 1 Timothy. Chapter 1, verse 19. Holding faith and a good conscience, mm. which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. Can you start again? Holding faith. Hold your faith. And a good conscience. And a good conscience. The good conscience is kawa. Kawa, kawa, kawa. Read. Which some have which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck so you, you know that's what happens when you lose your faith it's like you're going through a shipwreck you know even when uh, like evil comes upon you just have faith overtake it don't follow don't let it stress out your day don't let it stress out your plan punch on but the best thing to do and best weapon to help you um, punch on is actually faith um, can we get a first Timothy 5 and 12? Mm. Yeah, faith is actually good for you. Mm. It's a good uh, weapon. Having faith in that everything's going to be okay. Mm. Everything's going to be all good. 
You know, it's going to be all right at the end of the day. Read my book. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter 5, verse 12. Verse 12. Having damnation, because they have cast off their first faith. Their first faith. The first faith was Yahweh. Ha. Yah. Meaning, um, everything's going to be all good. Yeah. And we say Yahweh. You need the Creator and then Yaha, behold, I exist. Through the Creator, behold, I exist. Yahawa, ha, Yaha. Yeah. But your first um, faith is actually like when you're a child. You know, you don't, you just have, you just think about um, everything's going to be all good. You know, mum and dad's got me. You know, and that's how we got to be as adults. Yeah, our, our people now, mum and dad. Our ancestors, our, our father, the Most High Creator, because we all fuck up, fuck up to the Most High Creator at the end of the day. You know, um, that's what we got our faces. Mm, that everything's gonna be all good. And when you're a child, everything's always all good. You don't really let burdens, you don't really carry burdens on you to ruin your day. So, um, can you read that one more time, my brother? This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 12. Having damnation because they have cast out or uh, cast off their first faith. So that's how you get damnation is casting off your first faith. Mm, burdens and people go through mental problems because they've cast off their first faith. Right? And withal, they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house. <laughs> And not only idle, but tattlers also, and busy bodies. Like the um, protesters. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and then people who have problems in their lives, you know, they go to place to place, bouncing around from house to house, relationship to relationship. You know, it's the, because they've lost their first faith. Okay, the most highest turns is back on you. Mm, never lose faith in the Messiah, please, my people. He's your God. Um, we'll go to um, Proverbs 28, verse 20. Mm. All praise to the Messiah, power. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 20. A faithful man shall abound with blessings. That's right. A faithful man or woman, you know, um, shall abound in blessings from the most part. You know, everything's gonna be alright, all good. I got you. You know, and that's the truth, uh, my people. Um, you know, it just is a curse on our people um, who, who doesn't believe in me. You who don't believe in me, don't believe in the Father. Yeah, so, and then, oh, I'm telling you, sister, believe in me, trust in me, you know, but don't believe in me as the, as, as, as the Messiah did or nothing like that, but believe that I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, I got enough, no fuck around, no, I don't want no reward. Yeah, I just want the most highest blessings. That's it. I don't care about anybody else's um, blessings towards me. I want to carry your father's sins. I want to carry all your father's wickedness. You know, take it all away. I'll take the rap. That's how it is. So, can you read that one more time, my brother? <clears throat> a faithful man shall abound with blessings. That's right. So, be faithful, my people. And um, that goes back to all you protesters, all you ones in um, Wellington and Waitangi, everywhere in New Zealand, actually, probably everywhere in the world. You know, you just go home. To, to be honest, I wanted to come to war, I had their fire on me, but the Messiah said, nah, it's not how you do it. This is how you do it. Get um, officers and judges first. Everybody be sharp on the sword. Um, make sure you're, you're, you got to be sharp on the sword. You got to know how to be in order and in decency. You got to know tactical warfare with the mind and the eyes. And visual, visual warfare tactics. Okay. Um, They've got the message, you know, um, we don't want to be busybodies, 
and we don't want to be um we don't want to be really um playing up to make you things even worse because you know someone else might want to come over here and uh take over because we can't look after ourselves understand you know that's that's a there'll be even a bigger problem mm. so you know um how to keep our children safe is by actually closing the borders to be honest uh if you're going to keep the borders open make sure you go through uh, quarantine checks health and safety checks mm. that's all you got to do keep it simple keep it basic easy peasy but it's all about that children okay yeah this is how the government does it they use key revenues like fano tamariki children elderly and then you get triggered those words it's good spells these words trigger your mind to do um follow the multitude to do evil you know they do that just keep back just chill out stay cool calm collective okay and um this is our god this is my god the god of my fathers our fathers yeah so we're gonna fill this up with well. Two, two, mm. um, common sense you need common sense in all things right that's the core and common sense is already in the core of the most high power and the most high power left us as only begotten son and that's us yeah see the two children of Ikura listen to this this is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Mm. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. He's right here. Read. And that I am the Lord, your God. He's your God. Yahweh. Read. And none else. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. Nah, everybody's. And none else. None else. So... It's time for yourselves to get correct today, eh? you know, just get chin checked by the Most High, let the Most High chin check you, he'll correct you, humble yourselves like a little child, get born again by listening, the word will go into your mind, you'll get um, converted, and peace will be upon you, you'll be uh, blessed, and um, if you want to come and learn um, the kawa, or learn um, the way of the Most High, come to church on um, Saturdays at Sabbath days. We have church. We welcome everybody, scoffers, anyone. If you want to come, come. But with, we're um, genuinely making a, um, a fare. The, um, it's a church. That's what they call it in English. But we're going to stick to the Paleo Hebrew and, um, and the original Texas and their language and our language. And it's called fare. Yeah, CH is actually the dub. W H. Yeah, so come to our fare, fare or ikoroa. You know, this is our fare now, and we're gonna be our church, and we're um, welcoming anybody. We're actually, actually, good humble people. But um, I'm standing strong for the Most High. I'm gonna be a motherfucker for the Most High, and I ain't gonna let anybody slide for the Most High. So that's just my orders. He gives me orders. I do what I get told because I love him and i love you and um my men i've got many men um i'm not i'm I'll, I'll be the asshole for our team but our men are all humble guys good good people you know um i'm, I'm uh, actually welcoming everybody uh because everybody is allowed to be grafted in through me uh they first have to get bitten from the fiery serpent uh known as the cartoon so that's all it is and, um, um John 3.14 if he's one um ah uh, yeah we'll get it we'll get it we'll we'll read it out to you but yeah um I can't apologize for anything I do so because I've got because I've got the green light from the main time yeah so, <laughs> this is how it's gonna be but I always try and should I be nicer for the people and all this and all that but nah I get chin checked I have to be the way I am that's why he chose me so read uh, that my brother 
This is the book of John, chapter 3. To the camera. Verse 14. John 3, 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So that's the only way the Son of Man can be lifted up is by getting bitten by the fiery serpent known as the Kai Tanifa Moody. If you want to give all the honors and glory to the most high power, Yahweh, Ha, Yahweh, Salaam.